you're in clinical. Your preceptor hands you a vial that says 20 milligrams per two milliliters and says the patient needs 40 milligrams IV push. How much are you going to give? If your first thought is, I'm going to need a minute to figure this out, then you're in the right place. Whether you're just getting started or brushing up, RN2 Professors is here to help you train your nurse brain with the essential skills you need to build confidence and protect patient safety. In this series, Medication Calculation with Dimensional Analysis, you'll learn how to solve med math problems with a simple, consistent method that works every time. I'm Professor Wick, and in this episode, we're going to start at the very beginning. What is dimensional analysis, and why do nurses rely on it at the bedside? Before we get into setup and solving, let's talk about why dimensional analysis matters. Nursing students often struggle with medication math, not because math is too advanced, but because the method isn't clear. Dimensional analysis gives you one consistent approach that works for every kind of calculation. Tablets, IVs, weight-based dosing, you name it. It doesn't rely on memorized formulas or math shortcuts. Instead, it uses units and logic just like you'll use at the bedside. When you know how to set up the problem the right way, the numbers take care of themselves, and you gain the confidence to calculate safely every time. So what exactly is dimensional analysis? Think of it as a problem-solving method that uses units as your guide. Instead of plugging numbers into a memorized formula, you build a setup that lets the units do the work for you. Each step in your chain cancels out one unit and brings you closer to the one you need until all that's left is your answer. It's like putting puzzle pieces in order. When it fits, it flows. And when it flows, you can trust your math. Every dimensional analysis problem follows the same structure. You begin with what you know. Let's start at the first step, usually the ordered dose. From there, you multiply by one or more conversion factors, each one helping you move closer to the unit you're solving for. At every step, you cancel out the units you no longer need. The final unit, that's your answer. Dimensional analysis isn't about memorizing formulas. It's about thinking with clarity and purpose. And that's what makes it safe, simple, and flexible enough to use for any medication calculation you'll face in the clinical practice. Let's walk through a medication problem together. You're ordered to give 40 milligrams of furosemide IV. The vial in front of you says it contains 20 milligrams per two milliliters. Start with what you're being asked to give, 40 milligrams. Next, bring in your conversion factor from the vial, two milliliters per 20 milligrams. Set it up so the milligrams cancel out. That leaves you with milliliters, the unit you're solving for. Multiply across, 40 times two equals 80, one times 20 equals 20, divide by the bottom, 80 divided by 20 equals 4 milliliters. That's your answer. You drop and administer 4 milliliters. You've just completed the first step in mastering medication math, understanding the method behind dimensional analysis. From here, we'll walk through each major type of medication problem you'll encounter as a nursing student. Tablets, liquids, IV drips, pediatric weight-based dosing, and even titration challenges. In the next episode, we'll show you exactly how to build your dimensional analysis setup from scratch, step by step. You've already started to train your nurse brain. Let's keep going. Great work today. Dimensional analysis can feel overwhelming at first, but with a consistent method, it becomes one of your most reliable clinical tools. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe to RN2 Professors so you never miss an episode. Let's keep training your nurse brain one calculation at a time. <music>